Hi folks, Robert here with more Revit Training for Interior Designers and here I've added a few more features in my kitchen, uh, microwave oven and added a few more cabinets. But in this video we want to look at um, cut sheets. So I'm going to go into my 3D view here and let's go and focus on our Noguchi table. So what the, we want to do a cut sheet for this table since we have all the information for it. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to go out here and we're going to, so we already created our presentation board here, which is pretty good. So this is a sheet create. So now we're going to create another sheet. I've already started one. This is a, a cut sheet. So I've got my, this is going to be furniture specification. I've got what room is going in, the manufacturer, the item name, and the finish. So what I do here is, from this point, uh, I'll go and grab the image. So I'm going to go, this works just like the other, uh, the presentation board. I'm going to go to grab this image. So this time I'm going to go get that in the Gucci table. So I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to place it right there. Okay, so that's my Noguchi table, and then this is going to go, I'm going to just go here and I'm going to just edit this. I'm going to say living room. And then the manufacturer, now if I don't remember the manufacturer, I can always go to into the family. Oops. Uh, into my 3D view. Nope, not that one. Sorry, folks. I'll find it. There you go. So I'll grab this guy and I want to edit this family. And then I want to go here into my family, family types and They've got a lot of information here. So a manufacturer is a Herman Miller. So I'm going to just do a control C here. Nope, here. Um, so there's a lot of information. We're going to just cancel that. I'm going to go into my cut sheet again. Manufacture, and I'm going to edit this. Let me just paste that right in. So there's my manufacturer for my table. Uh, we might want to do some here to fit that in. Okay. Yes. Here, I guess we could have said the same thing, the Gucci table. But you get the idea. Uh, I'm going to edit this and just go. And then we can also go out there and find a finish. Let me just window tile this so I don't be searching through everything. Uh, So I'll go back into this family. I'm going to tap these views. So back in this guy, and I want to go back into the family types here. And now, if we want more information, you can do something like this. I like to do this. I'll just go right out to the site. There should be a URL there, and this should take me right to that table. And any other spec I need should be on this page. Um, just scroll down. Most websites, they link you right to the site, which is good. But uh, 
let me see details. Here we go. So the, the value of using the families in a model, you can go out and get this information. Uh, and, and I like these images as well. Could have probably pulled those in. And then there's our finish, the wood finish. So here you can do a lot of other things, but I just want to show you this, how to set up a cut sheet. So now um, we'll go here. We have our cut sheet here. So uh, fix this. This script. I'll just say price here. And I don't know, I think this thing is like a thousand or twelve hundred bucks. I'm not sure, but you can find it on the page. But I just want to give you guys a, a look at how you create a cut sheet. So there's our cut sheet for our furniture. And here you can put other information here. And then here you can put your company logo and then your project name. Uh, and, and so on and so forth. So hey guys, thanks for watching. I want to show you how to do a cut sheet. I'm going to show you how to do the finishes next. Same thing, basically. And if anyone know, wants to know how to create this title box, let me know. But hey guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Bye. Be safe.